There are three different areas in which you can write JavaScript within the HTML document. The first is known as body script, and this is written between the two body tags. Otherwise, we can actually write header script, which is written between the head tags. Otherwise, you can actually do an external JavaScript file, which is called in the header script area. So we're going to look at the three different ones in this tutorial right now. So let's start with body script. Because JavaScript is not native to HTML, it's actually an external function that we need to tell the browser that we're going to be using this. So to do this, we need to actually declare the script. So within the HTML, I'm going to go to the bottom of this. I like to write all my scripts at the bottom, and in doing so, I need to declare the script. And I need to say, well, what sort of script is this? Well, we need to actually tell it it's of type, and it's going to be of type text. And in particular, we're looking at JavaScript. And this declares, and then we can actually close the script. So in the body, within inside the body tags, we have actually declared a script type of JavaScript, and we have the script information. From here, we can actually write a function. And the function allows us to actually define a block of code that we can call by an action, such as a button. So in this case here, I'm going to put f for function and main. And then we're going to have two open and closed braces. We're not going to be passing parameters at this point of time. And then a closed brace. For every open brace, there must be a closed brace. It's the same for open bracket and closed bracket. So in here, we're just going to alert. And we're going to say in main. So this will allow us then to alert some information. So I'm just going to save this at the moment and go file, save as, and we're going to call it body script. But when I run the program now, into a live view, you'll notice we just get the HTML and no alert tag. And the reason for this is nothing's actually called this function yet. For JavaScript to run, we need an event to occur. So we need something on the stage to actually trigger the function call to call this function to action. So what I'm going to place after the, after the text is I'm going to place a button. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to use a form and then a button. You could hand code this in if you wanted to. So input type is button. You can actually give it a name. So whatever you want to call it. Um, it has an ID and this is the reference to this. So we could actually call this one start and then its value, what's written on the button, could actually be start as well. Now, if we're gonna have a face called start, then it's a good idea to have your button called BT, BTN. These are naming conventions. So we've got BTN start, which means it's referencing this button, and then it has a value. Now, at the moment, this button will actually click for us. So if we click over here and put ourselves into live view, we can actually click on the button but nothing's actually happening with that button. Because what we need to do is actually give it an event, something to do. So at the moment, I'm going to come in and edit this and go on click, and then I can tell it to do something. So I'm gonna tell it to run F main bracket bracket. So if you click this button, I want it to run this function and I want it to alert. So let's click back over here, and click on start, and you notice now it says in main. So it's actually run the code in here. So this is using an event on the stage, a button, to call some body script where the script is located on the page. The next method is actually the header script. So once again, we do have to declare the script language that we're using. So we'll once again be going script, and we're giving it a type and we're letting it know that it is a um, text type and the text type is actually JavaScript. And once again, we're gonna close the script tag off. Make sure you close off your quotations as well. So here we have another script area. Once again, we need to declare a function and we need to give it a name. So we could call this one F header script and then with inside header script, we can actually open the function and close the function, and we can place an alert in here. So any code that is called by this, whatever we write between the open brace, close brace, look, will execute. 
Now, once again, when we run this, we're not going to get that message because this one's calling F main down the bottom here. But if we wanted to, we could actually put it into F header script. So I'm just going to copy this and go down and retarget that button now to look for the header. So when I click on start now, make sure you've got the open and close brackets. You can see that it's called the correct function. So this button now, rather than calling the body script, is now calling the header script. So when you run your code now, we can open this in Google Chrome and save the document. Now if we go to File and go to View, Developer, we can view the source. And as you can see at the moment, you can see the script information at the top and also in the body tag as well. Now the advantage of using header tags or header script over body script is the fact that we can actually come into the script here and we can place a command in here as such. And before the close tag, we can also place this command here. And what this will do for us, if we save and preview this, from older browsers, you can actually hide your JavaScript. So once again, the script still runs, but when we go view and look at developer and look at its source, in older browsers, you won't actually see this information that sits between here. Now, if you're doing a quiz or something like that, Anyone can actually go in and use the view and view the source and actually see all the answers, etc. So one of the best methods, I believe, to developing JavaScript is actually to use an external JS file. To do this, we're going to go to File and we're going to go New. But this time, we're going to select JavaScript. Now, when we create this, it's going to create a file for us that we can then save. So we can go to File, Save As. Now, some people have a folder called Scripts. So I'm going to create a new folder. And in scripts, we can actually put the JavaScript file. So in here, we can have example, JS. Now to associate this script with the body script page, what we can actually do is above the scripts here, we can actually put all our associated assets. So if we had a cascading style sheet, that would go there as well. And we can actually just select this and drag it, bring it across and drop it in. Now with the scripts, it's still script and the source rather than type. And in here we've got scripts, example JS and closed scripts. Now that we've associated this JS file with this web page with the appropriate path, when we save this, Dreamweaver will naturally put those files together. So I can flick between the JS file, which is the example, and also the coding HTML style. And I can close this tab up here. This also occurs in other programs such as Bracket and Atom, etc. And this enables it easy to switch between the two programs. So what we want to do now is actually declare a function within the JS file itself. So once again, we still declare them the same way we did in the body and also in the head. We still go function. And this one we're going to put f um, background change. And we can call this from the main page. Now, in the main page, what we're going to actually do to this, we're going to um, go document dot uh, body dot style dot background color and we'll give it a color such as blue. So we're going to save that, head back to our source code. You've got to remember that you've got to have the F background color change as the function call. So within our function call, we've got F background color change. So now the button will call this function. This function now resides in external JS file and we'll execute from there. So when we look at this now, save this and run it in Safari. Once I click on this button, the background's now turned blue. But if I go view and then 
or if I open this program again in um, Google, click blue, when I go view developer and view source file, you only see the main HTML document. You don't actually see the external JS file. So this is a good way of actually keeping your code secure from the end user. So there are the three different methods of working with JavaScript. First of all, you can use a body script. You can then use a header script or you can use an external JS script. No matter which script you do use, you have to use functions, you have to declare the script that you're using, and also you need an event trigger, something like a button or some event that occurs on the screen that actually calls the function.